uh, I found myself reading uh, 1 John chapter 4 this morning, and it was talking about trying the spirit by the spirit. Really? Is that what it said? Now, I'm always on here talking about how we should test the spirit by the spirit of God to see whether or not a message is true. Really? I began to ask God, why aren't more people trying the spirit by the spirit? Why aren't more people doing that? This is how you test the spirit by the spirit. How? Please tell us. This is one of the misquoted or misused. I shouldn't say misquoted because they're not actually quoting the Bible, but you hear this often and it doesn't even matter if it's this sort of a church or that sort of a church, but you keep hearing this statement and it's just not in the Bible. Have you heard this term, this phrase, test the spirit by the spirit or try the spirit by the spirit? Likely that you have. As a matter of fact, one gentleman at the beginning says that uh, he was just reading in first John four about testing the spirit by the spirit. And this is a head scratcher. Why is that a head scratcher? Because I don't think that's what it says. As a matter of fact, I know it. Let's look at the scripture. The Bible says, beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God. It doesn't say test the spirits by the spirit, but yet people keep saying that. Now, I know some of you are King James Version readers, which is fine. So let's go to the King James Version and see what it says. The King James Version says, beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are from God. Huh. Try the spirit or test the spirit, but it doesn't say by the spirit. Why is that important? Well, because there are those that believe that you have to tap into the spirit to get an understanding of what someone else is saying, what they believe, what they feel. I know that's a person of God. My spirit just bore witness with that person. Stop using unbiblical means to make yourself or a person feel more spiritually strong. If you can't handle the text correctly, well, then we automatically know you are spiritually deficient in some areas. You cannot be so empowered by the spirit but miss what the Spirit wrote for us in the Bible. This is amazing how many people keep misquoting or twisting this particular passage. It does not say test the Spirit by the Spirit or try the Spirit by the Spirit. How do you test the Spirit? Well, the same way that they did in the Bible. They went and looked up the Scriptures. They want to make sure that everything lines with the Word of God. You know, like the Bereans did when even Paul, who wrote almost half of the New Testament, says something, what do they do? They went back and tested it according to the spirit. No, according to the scriptures. And so when you hear a person say, test the spirit by the spirit or try the spirit by the spirit, you might not always, but you might be in the presence of a person who doesn't know the scriptures, which means you need to stop listening to that person. Amen. Amen.